And hello again. Uh, today we are indoors. So I'm just having a little play around with the pencil and paper and just having some ideas about the paint job on the bike. Um, these are just some sketches I made long before uh, the tank arrived and long before I, I decided on the seat unit. And I'm just trying to get a guess as, as to what it might look like um, based on photographs I've seen online. Looking at this now, it's nothing like the actual tank and, and the actual seat unit. Uh, but it was just playing around, um, make this red and that's left polished, or maybe paint it black with gold pinstripes um, or speed lines. Just messing about. Um, I don't have access to Photoshop and I probably wouldn't even be able to use it even if I probably wouldn't know how to use it even if I did. So I go analog and I just mess about with paper and pen and coloured pencils. Um, here's good old Peter Rabbit. These are my niece's old pencils, coloured pencils, just to mess about with, um, waste not, want not. And it's good fun on a rainy old day to drink tea and just uh, have a little play around with some ideas. Um, and there's another little sketch there. So what I've done is, uh, and in fact here's just some sketches, and I was thinking about fitting a uh, TTF1 style seat, uh, like similar to an MHR seat there, and I still might do. So all you need is a pencil and a bit of time and a big old A3 drawing pad. So this is what I've been doing today with my pencils and colouring book. Um, and I took these the general outline of the bike. Uh, I just copied them from my laptop. Um, I'm not as good as you might think I am because what I did was I simply got some tracing paper and put that on the screen just laid it on the screen of my PC and very quickly sketched around it very roughly, then finished it off um, afterwards and then put it on here and I can then easily copy the shapes um, as and when required. So there's one there and I've just done another one so I can maybe change the colours. It's only a rough idea, I mean it's not perfect, perhaps I should go and get some real paint or something but this is just playing around with ideas at the moment. And so as you can see, my current idea was to paint the whole thing red, maybe Ducati red or slightly darker red, um, black Ferrari red, or even Le Mans red, and leave this uh, knee cut out polished alloy. Uh, I was in two minds about that because I wasn't keen on leaving any polished alloy, and I still may just um, paint the whole thing red. But then I saw a photograph online of a bike similar to mine, which looked as if it had the same sort of tank as mine, it was built by a company, SC something I think, um, down on the south coast of England and it's got a black paintwork with white pinstripes and they indeed have left this uh, knee cut out polished and I must say it looks bloody good. Um, so I'll show you a picture of that now and here it is. As you can see, it's a nice bike. I mean, it's not perfect. There's some things on there that I've changed, but the paintwork is spot on. But obviously, I'm not going to copy that. So we've got to come up with some different ideas. One issue I've got is that perhaps that bike looks so good because it's got a nice contrast between the black paintwork and the polished alloy. With red, you may not quite get that contrast. It might not look quite as good. So now I'm in two minds about, shall I go for all red or shall I go with a polished cutout, knee cutout, or shall I change the colour completely and go for a darker colour, perhaps midnight blue, maybe even black, um, and that will then change the whole feel of the bike. I'm not sure yet, so what I'm doing today is just having a little think, looking at photographs online, um, just coming up with some ideas, and no doubt by the end of all this I'll still be unsure. Now one colour scheme that I do really like is a classic black and gold colour scheme. That is all black with gold pinstriping and maybe some gold <clears throat> and maybe some gold um, speed lines. And the reason I like it so much is because for 20 odd years I own this. This is my old um, Ducati. Let's just spin that around a bit. That's my classic Ducati 900 SS bevel drive. That's a 78 model in the classic black and gold colour scheme. Um, I'm why I ever sold it, I don't know. Uh, I wish I'd kept it. Had it 20 odd years, 
Loved the thing, it was immaculate, and yet I sold it just before the prices went mad, and now I couldn't afford to buy it back. But as you can see, that seat unit looks quite familiar. It's the same seat unit as I've got on my Motor Guzzi. Now, I wouldn't try and replicate exactly that colour scheme because clearly it's made for a Ducati and it would be sacrilege to just copy it and stick it on a Motor Guzzi. But the general idea of black with gold detailing, um, that really appeals. And in fact, the Motor Guzzi decals that will go on the tank and on the tail section, they are gold and they're surrounded by black um, pinstripes, so that will work. So that's another option. And another good thing about black is it kind of matches with anything. So if I've got some polished alloy, some shiny exhaust pipes, it kind of works really, really well. So that said, I'm now in a bit of a quandary. I've got to think this through. Um, maybe if we make it all black, then maybe we can do something here um, with gold uh, speed stripes and pinstriping and so on. Who knows? Um, but I think it's time for a cup of tea and I need to spend a lot of time thinking about this. Fortunately, the paint job won't be done for, what, at least another two or three months, so I've got plenty of time to change my mind half a dozen times before I finally have to commit to a particular paint scheme. Um, and that's what I'm doing this morning. If you've got any bright ideas for the paint scheme, I would love to hear them. And so I'll carry on with this and um, I'll leave it there. Thanks for that and cheers.